So this is the PlayStation 4 Pro, Sony's brand new console that pushes 4K gaming for console gamers. Retails for $399 and comes in one terabyte of storage. Now we know this has uh, a faster CPU clock speed at 2.1 gigahertz. It does 4.2 teraflops in terms of GPU performance, has eight gigs of RAM, DDR5, as well as also uh, one gig for OS functionality. But there's more to this console than just the pure specs and hardware. A lot more things it does. First off, let's take a quick look at the controller. The brand new controller has a light bar on the top. Doesn't really change much, but it does give you more notification right there off the bat. Now with all that horsepower mentioned, what else can you do with this console and what do you get? Now you get a regular Blu-ray drive with that Blu-ray drive slot at the top. It does not do 4K Blu-rays, so you cannot play a 4K Blu-ray on the system. Now you can see the power button has changed and it's now a strip that runs all the way across to the other end with the eject button on the other side. You now have two USB 3.0 ports right underneath the PS4 logo. And the design change is this three-step layer. This is what I like to call it anyway, but uh, it's something that's made the console a little bigger and also a little heavier at 7.3 pounds. On the sides, you have a ventilation cooling. And of course, this supports Adobe Audio as well as DTX. And also it has a, a support for HDMI 2.0. As we look at the back, you have a different power plug, similar to what you have on PCs. That HDMI out is HDMI 2.0 to compensate for HDR gaming, as well as also you do have your uh, aux port, and that of course is to connect the PlayStation camera. You've got uh, optical out, which of course has come back, which disappeared on the PlayStation Slim, uh, PS4 Slim, a third USB 3.0 port, as well as an ethernet jack. So you have all the complementary ports at the back. Now, at the very top after the Ethernet jack is your drive bay, where you can go ahead and swap out your drive. So if you want to do that, definitely check out our hard drive swap video. It's a really easy way to swap out your hard drive, but it's a nice little latch that closes that up for you. Now, when we take a look at the software here, nothing has changed. This is uh, right now we're running version 4.05, and it feels like the very familiar PlayStation software. Uh, but now what you have here is you have the capability of streaming uh, content uh, with HDR uh, 10, either with Netflix uh, or any other one that supports that, but also your games support HDR. So right now, the game I'm currently playing is Uncharted 4, which is a lovely looking game and even looks better in 4K HDR. Now, this is where the PlayStation 4 Pro does some things that are really unique and fascinating and some things that are not so much. Fascinating and unique is the sense that looking at Uncharted here, the game absolutely looks beautiful. There's more detail, there's more vibrant colors, uh, you can see things well. Everything looks sharp and it looks sharp on a 4K TV. And that's the thing, for you to really enjoy the PlayStation 4, you need to get yourself a 4K HDR TV, something like the LG E6 or even like the Samsung KS9800 or anything that supports, of course, 4K HDR. But the not so much part is that some of the listed games have different performances. So for instance, Uncharted here, single player is 4K, 30 frames per second, some games are 1080p 60, some games are 4K 60, and there's nothing set. And I would like to see Sony set some clear benchmarks for uh, PS4 Pro games so that we can actually get standards right there. So 4K HDR gaming on the PlayStation 4 Pro is really nice. Games like Uncharted look absolutely fantastic and there is a growing list of content uh, from PlayStation and also their third parties that actually fit the bill so that you can enjoy 4K HDR gaming on the go. Where I'm disappointed is the fact there's no 4K HDR Blu-ray, especially since Sony is a company that pushed Blu-ray content for us uh, and they didn't, decided not to go with 4K HDR Blu-ray. So there's a lot of consumers who will be left out in the dust with that. The PlayStation 4 Pro is focused on gaming. This is something Sony has harped on from the beginning of the PlayStation 4. So if you're looking for 4K HDR console, this is it. Now, as a PS4 or even a PS3 owner, this is a good time to upgrade to the PlayStation 4 Pro. It makes sense, you've got enough storage of one terabyte, you can easily swap it out, um, and a, you can also play at 4K HDR. There are some caveats, you definitely need a 4K HDR TV to fully enjoy the PlayStation 4 Pro. Also, uh, Sony needs to improve uh, some of the gameplay output so that some all games are doing a minimum of 
1080p 60 frames per second but i'd like to see all games do 4k hdr all the way through so guys if you have any questions or any comments about the playstation 4 pro let me know otherwise don't forget to like and share this video favorite this video and subscribe to the channel if you're looking to pick up a playstation 4 pro or uncharted you can use our amazon link down below to do that so again guys always enjoy your entertainment